We will now do the second video um, looking at the, the gap between GCSE and A-level and again this will be fairly um, familiar to the majority of you and second nature a lot of the time um, but we have to ensure that when you walk into your A-levels that you can multiply, divide um, both mixed numbers and to some extent basic algebraic expressions. We're going to look at some really straightforward number, look at the common factors in both, then we're going to move on to some slightly um, slightly harder examples with algebraic expressions in. Um, I'm not going to dwell on those too much because when we look at the rules of indices we will include those parts and come back and, and link the two. Okay, what we've got here is 2 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 8. Now, if we look at this, 2 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 8, the common issue here is that people go 6 over 56. What we need to hopefully get into the habit of, we know multiplying the tops and multiplying the bottoms works. We need to be looking at common factors. And we can always um, simplify diagonally or vertically, not horizontally, diagonally and vertically. 1 times 3, 7 times by 4 is going to give me 3 over 28. Exactly the same, just a simplified fraction. And the argument of I'll cancel it down at the end is really not a good one. A prime example of that would be the following. One fifth multiplied by 10 over uh, 3 multiplied by 7 over 2 multiplied by um, 12 over um, 7 and then multiplied by 14 over 144. If you try and multiply all of that in one go, you're going to end up with something pretty nasty. What we need to be doing is looking at common factors. Automatically I spot that the 10 and the 5 can go, changing that to a 2. The 7 and the 7 can just disappear. The 12 and the 144 can just go down to being 12. 12 goes into 144 12 times. So now I'm looking across. I've got 2 over 3. That's just gone to 1. I've got multiplied by 1 over 8. And I can go further. I can take the 2 and the 8 out. We've got 1 here. And then we've got 14 over 12. So again, we're just slimming this down to cut down our workings. So we can take it out from there if you want and put it on that one to make that a 4. We can half these to make 7 and 6 and you can see that we're starting to slim things down hugely. If you try to go at that full ball then you're going to end up having problems. So look for common factors straight off. Multiply mixed numbers. Convert them up. So 1 and 1 half we need to be comfortable with switching that into 3 over 2 multiplied by a 1 and a third which is going to be 4 over 3. Automatically we can see they're going and then we can see that that one with that one will make 2 and 1 which is just 2. We need to be able to do that. Division of fractions again absolutely essential. We turn the second one round and multiply so 3 over 8 multiplied by the 5 over 4. So we start cancelling off once we've turned this around. Don't be tempted to say, well, that's going to be 1 and 2. So we look for anything we can simplify, and the answer is no. So we just end up with 15 over 32. Again, with mixed numbers, let's look at this one. If we think that's going to be 11 over 2, we've got 11 over 2. Converting 5 and a half into halves is 11 over 2. Just think of it about it. You multiply most and adding it to the top. Then you're going to multiply that by the reciprocal, which is going to be 4 over 1. This will cancel 1 and 2. So we're now left with 22 over 1, which is 22. So that's an absolute given that you need to be able to do. If you're not happy with that, um, get happy with it. OK, we're going to look at some more rules of indices as we go. But essentially what we need to be looking at initially is the multiplication and division of um, algebraic fractions and we'll look at these ones now um, and come back to a bit on rules of indices. I'm going to again take it for granted that you're comfortable with a to the m multiplied. Now we often use this dot. 
this dot is multiplication. It avoids me writing, um, for example, something that might look ambiguous. I can't do x, x and x. That means x multiplied by x to me. Yet if we write it like so, that's absolutely clear what I mean. I know I should write curly x's, but sometimes we don't. So a to the m multiplied by a to the n is a to the m plus n. Again, I'll take that as a given understanding. Um, and we will touch on it slightly as we extend our knowledge on indices. But essentially, it's key for you. And then a to the m divided by a to the n, we subtract. So it's m minus n. And then a to the n power raised to the n power is a. And then it's m multiplied by n. So let's look at some examples of where we can uh, simplify through division. So we've got 12a squared over 4. Automatically, we've got 12 over 4 and then a squared up in the numerator. The 4 and the 12 can go to give us 3a squared. We're looking for common factors. We got this one, and I would write it as 16y to the fifth over 4y squared. We can cancel down in terms of the uh, 16 and 4 to give me 4. We can cancel y to the fifth divided by y squared is y cubed. What I'll do is just spend time just pulling this to bits. What this really says is the following. It says 2 times by 2 times by 2 times by 2 times by y times by y times by y times by y times by y. And that's all over 2 times by 2 times by y times by y. And you know, cancelling, we can take the common factors out. So that's common, that's common, that's common, and that's common, leaving us 2 times 2 times y times y times y all over 1, which is just going to give us 4y cubed. So these are absolute um, essentials. Dividing um, algebraic fractions um, is something we need to be comfortable with. So let's look at a couple here. We've got 21 x cubed y to the fifth over 7x squared y to the fourth. Dealing with the numeric one, that's going to automatically give us 3. x cubed over x squared is just x to the first power. Now, y to the fifth divided by y to the fourth is just y. So nice and straightforward, and we've simplified that. There'll be some... Um, instances where you're given something slightly more challenging and again we'll look at those in the rules of indices. Um, another big concern are, are these ones 3x squared all squared. This is one of my killers. People wind up getting 6, um, 6x to the fourth. Remember that's got a 1 on it so we end up with 3 squared and then x to the power of 4 which you could write as 9x to the fourth. So Fairly straightforward. I'm kind of hoping this is not nothing new to you and just confirming what you already know. So x to the fourth, y to the fifth, multiplied by y cubed. We're going to simply add the powers and we'll get x to the fourth, y to the power of 5 plus 3, which is 8. So there we go, a very brief, basic introduction to multiplying and dividing fractions we've looked at adding and subtracting next time we'll probably go on to rules of indices and look at some of the more challenging stuff but after the first two videos hopefully there's nothing new and it's just confirming something you already know